hello and welcome in this video I will be showing you how to download and install Android Studio IDE on Windows 10 so let's get started first of all open your favorite browser and uh, type in Android Studio IDE open up the first link and uh, it's the official website of uh, Android so from here uh, press this download link and you can read these uh, instructions if you want to read I'm not going to read and I'm going to accept the license and uh, download Android Studio IDE and uh, here we go my setup is started uh, so I'll be pausing video here see you when it uh, the process completes welcome again my downloading process has completed so now I'm going to install so I'm going to press open from here and uh, it is going to start the installation process I'm going to close this browser so here we go yes hit next from here uh, Android virtual device and uh, Android studio both should be selected so if you want to use uh, physical device then you may uh, unselect this Android virtual device it's actually a virtual device inside uh, the Android studio that will help you to test your app so hit next next and uh, install so this is going to be install real soon you can also see the process by hitting this show details button it's uh, actually extracting its resources installation is completed so hit next from here and uh, finish and make sure this uh, start android studio is selected this will start launch the android studio id automatically finish and here we go okay from here it will ask for uh, if you have already installed uh, uh, Android Studio then it will look for the previous version settings so I'm going to start with the uh, do not import settings uh, because uh, if uh, you have already worked on Android Studio it saves the settings in this folder uh, and uh, you can always uh, choose those uh, settings but I'm going uh, to select do not import settings from here and uh, you can even uh, select the custom location where you have uh, already stored these settings so I'm selecting do not import settings and press ok uh, it is saying that uh, the directories below contains configuration and system files for unused ver versions of Android Studio check the boxes next to each directory you want to safely delete actually I uh, had already installed uh, uh, Android Studio before this I just deleted before this version so that uh, uh, Android Studio version stored settings so I'm going to delete those directories
finally it's launching So now it's asking uh, to create a virtual device. Uh, virtual device will be the testing Android device on which uh, all of uh, our projects will run. So if you haven't selected in the previous video uh, AVD, there was Android virtual device option. If you haven't selected that, then this will window will not appear. So in my case, I have selected. So I'm going to create a virtual device so i'm i will be choosing standard you can always choose custom and from here you can choose the uh, android studio theme if you like the lighter one you can choose this one but i like dark cola so i'm going to choose that one and hit next from here and uh, this is going to install some things like uh, android sdk tools of 10 mb and uh, accelerated hexam installer 2.62 mb so hit finish from here now it will be downloading and installing these components it will take a little bit of time in your case maybe uh, there could be more components uh, as i have already installed android studio to some uh, then some of components will be discovered from there maybe uh, in the previous version some left out not deleted it's asking for permissions yes it's going to process some commands setup is completed so click finish from here and uh, here we go uh, now we can create a new project uh, in some cases uh, the SDK is not maybe not installed yet so we could have to install that first uh, in my case I'm going to start new Android studio project if uh, SDK uh, is not discovered it will uh, a pop-up window will open and uh, it will install the SDK automatically so from here choose your project i'm going to select empty activity i'll explain the other activities later so for now just select empty activity and hit next from here here we need to give our application name so i'm going to give hello world and then you need to give the package name package name is actually a unique key for play store to identify your app so you can give uh, anything here or uh, if you have a website or uh, a product so you can always give that here for example if uh, if uh, 
my product was google.com so i could have given here com.google.hello world all right so next there is the path where you want to store your project and uh, next is the language which language you want to choose android studio sports two languages and uh, uh, those are java and kotlin both languages are pretty much same uh, in java uh, there are braces and semicolons but uh, in, in kotlin there are no semicolons it it is actually the uh, modified form of uh, java in which uh, they uh, they eliminated unnecessary semicolons and things like that to make uh, uh, fast coding accessible so i will be choosing java because it is simpler it is easy to learn so next from here there is minimum api level api level is something uh, for example uh, if you are using android for kitkat or something like that uh, the minimum api uh, tells us that uh, our pro our project or our app will support the minimum android version for example if we have selected android 4.0.3 here android 4.0.2 will uh, never be able to install our app because our minimum api level is 4.0.3 so select the, the minimum API level from which you want to target the devices for example I want to target 100% of devices so uh, I will be choosing here 4.0.3 because your app will run on approximately 100% of, 100 of devices if I choose Android 4.3 from here it, it will be targeting 95.9% per of devices so for now i recommend to choose android 4.0.3 so just leave uh, other options as it is and hit finish from here Android Studio is building our project and uh, you can see here it is showing uh, that uh, what are the new features in Android Android Studio version 3.3 uh, at your time when you are watching this video you may might have a later version 3.4 or 3.5 or even 4 so there will be some different features in that but uh, the main process is exactly same and will remain same so it is showing some information here about the newer this newer version so i'm going to close this from here assistant window is just minimized so here you can see it is downloading gradle gradle is the plugin which android studio use to build projects to build for example to uh, to convert our source code into an apk file it requires a plugin called gradle so it is downloading that and uh, it will download that and it will take some time to configure these uh, as you are running first time uh, as we are running this project first time it is downloading this uh, when you run it again it will not download because it uh, it will it would have already downloaded that here we go our build is completed finally and uh, our project is built and configured and uh, in a moment this scanning files to index down there will be completed as well so that's it for this video in the next video uh, we will start from here and uh, uh, move forward in this course so in this video we have learned how to download and install Android Studio IDE on Windows and uh, create our uh, project. So thanks for the watching this video. See you in the next.